action. My name is Roddy Nobis, and I'm auditioning for the part of Gabe. Okay, so let's get started. So you might want to sit a little closer, Diane. Okay, rolling, action. Julie, where's the chief? She's gone to town. She had a meeting. Cousin, I know she's here. I'll try to cover up for her. Okay, Gabe, sit down. I will go and check then, and I will get you a coffee. Jim, can you come to the reception area? My cousin Gabe just came in, saying he wants to talk to Chief Sarah, and he's been drinking a lot, I think. You took that mental health first aid course, eh? Where's my coffee? I want to see the chief. Yeah, I did. The first things we should do is sort out how much he's been drinking, and for how long, and whether he Okay, let's stop what? for a second. Gabe, I want you to... I noticed that it took you... You're a little nervous, aren't you? A little bit, yeah. yeah okay. So you know what, just take the moment that you need to get into the character. Mm -hmm. Try to remember what you studied for. Mm -hmm. What's the character coming from? Because I saw you making that transition and, and you, Gabe was getting drunker and a little bit more belligerent. So why don't you try starting from that point? So take the time that you need okay. and, you know, get into character, feel the... Feel, feel Gabe, okay? Yeah. And, uh, and go from there. Don't be afraid. Don't hold back. No, I know that. Okay. <laughs> okay, because I, I, I think I wrote this, so. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is Tina, keep her sister, by the way. Yeah. Oh, Hi. Nice you too. Okay. okay, so we'll start okay, again. So don't, just better to go of, over be more like than to really pull way. back. You know, Any like director will always tell you that. It's better to go over because then the director can pull you back. Okay. okay, great. You can do this, Rod. Yeah. Okay, rolling, action. Julie, where's the chief? She's gone to town. She had a meeting. Cousin, I know she's here. I'll try to cover up for her. Okay, Gabe, sit down. I will go check then, and I will get you a coffee. Jim, can you come to the reception area? My cousin Gabe just came in, saying he wants to talk to Chief Sarah, and he's been drinking a lot, I think. You took that mental health first aid course, eh? Where's my coffee? I want to see the Chief. Yeah, I did. The first things we should do is sort out how much he's been drinking, and for how long, and whether he's taken any other substances, including medications, and assess whether he's potentially at risk for suicide or self-harm. Hey, Gabe, what's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? I lost my job. But my boss thinks he's so good. Don't even know I'm going to tell my family. That must have been hard news to hear. Especially at my age. Oh, yeah, at 25. I know I look it, but I'm 37. <laughs> yeah, you do, boy. You look so young. So Gabe, how long have you been drinking? Since I was maybe 15, I don't know, 16? No, he means now. Have you been drinking all night? Last two days. I have to ask you, bro, have you been using any other substances? Any drugs or pills, even medication? No. Is this why you lost your job this week? Wilma. She just left me because I lost my job after all these years. You've been drinking on and off for the past couple of days? Yeah, man. I just got so mad at my boss when he fired me. I figured, what the... Went home, slept, and then Wilma kicked me out yesterday. So I figured, what's the point? So I went to town. Gabe, you sound sad and I understand that you're upset. Have you been thinking about suicide? What? No. I'm just mad and sad because my dumb job. Hey, Gabe. Okay, hi. 